Hey sellers, welcome back to another uh, playthrough. This is going to be take three of Last Defense Line. Um, <clears throat> the first two went to Dave uh, quite early, like turn fours or fives. Uh, the Germans conceded, and the German objectives for both of those were to get across the board. So if you're not familiar with the scenario, let's get into that. Um, so it's called Last Defense Line. It takes place in 15 May 1940, uh, early war French versus uh, Germans. Germans are on the attack and French are on the defense. So uh, this scenario is a bit interesting that you have potentially three uh, victory conditions that you have to meet. Uh, you roll randomly or you pick a card or somehow you determine one of the three um, chances. And um, <clears throat> uh, for the first two, I selected um, uh, exiting 12 victory points or more off of the uh, uh, bottom of the map board um, down here. Now, it, you, it's quite doable. However, Dave's rate of fire dice were tearing me up and my own dice were less than sufficient. So I never even made it into the woods. Uh, the first playthrough I think I did, but I never pushed into the buildings. Second playthrough, I definitely did not make it into the woods before uh, David started fires here and it was just uh, Early victory. At any rate, uh, for this time around, I'm taking the second victory condition, um, or I should say, I roll randomly on my four side of die, and that's what I determine. So my objective is to control one of these, uh, or sorry, three of these five buildings uh, indicated with the V's on the map. So um, more than likely, I'm going to be trying to go for these three right there. This one here is just too far in the rear. Um, this one here is way off the flank, uh, definitely out of order. So unless things transpire a certain way, this one will be out of the order, as will this one here. Dave also has two 75 infantry guns. I think they're 75s, maybe the 37s, really, I can't remember, um, <clears throat> which are located in the back. Now, in the first playthrough, he revealed them as one gun here. Let's put those down now. The 65 infantry, that was what it was. One of these so you had one here and he had one here and their objectives were basically to fire on these two victory condition houses so i don't know how dave's going to set up i assume because his plan worked so well in the past that he's going to do something similar these might be different locations i don't know um but um we'll have to take it as it is so i'm going on the premise that dave is going to set up the same because again it was so effective he has a mortar up here on a hill which has good lines of sight for everything coming along here. And he had this hex bore sighted with the mortar. So uh, I'm going to have to probably avoid this hex when I move on um, during my turn. Uh, he's got two mediums here and here, which he used to lay effective fire lanes, although we misplayed the rules slightly, relieving residual or things like that effect. Um, we forgot to count hindrances for... Uh, fire lanes which don't apply for residual fire because residual fire has no memory so um i was exceptionally penalized when i was moving my troops through these uh grain fields here but at any rate he's got two mediums that do nice fire lanes uh run like this and one like this intersecting fire he's got lmgs on the side here ready to do some more cutting off and uh for some reason dave decided to deny me some terrain by trying to set fires with these two squads of which this one was successful. Set a fire in the woods, and by the end of game two, uh, these three hexes were all on fire, as was, I think, the front one here, and the fire was spreading this way along the tree line, which further denied me access to it. So, good move on Dave. They had no targets, so it made sense to start some fires. Um, <clears throat> so, that's the way um, his setup is going to be. Again, assuming that he does the same thing, and why would he change it? Uh, so to this effect, I'm going to change my plan a little bit. So I'm going to bring in my 8-0 leader who meant to pop smoke on the mortar, but there might have been, uh, there might be better targets out there. What I probably should have done is try to blaze some smoke somewhere in here to obscure their defensive fire against my moving. Now, because I'm a penalized with an SSR that says no CX, um, I only have normal move. It's basically nine and a half moving phases to get across the board. It was I'd rather risk a lot of neg two shots coming across the open here. If I had smoked that off, obviously that would have been a lot easier on me. I might have actually had some troops get into the woods sooner. So my plan, based on the victory conditions I already said, 
collecting three of those five buildings is my uh, 8 zero observer is going to be planting his ass in this house and he's going to be dropping smoke on the uh, somewhere in here it's going to be a smoke uh, bra uh, shell I may even fire a bra so it'll be twice the size but uh, probably not because that reduces the overall smoke but I'll probably fire full concentration smoke barrage somewhere around here uh, maybe down here I'm not quite sure yet um, I'll have to do a second chit draw because likely these guys will be out of position. Um, who knows how that goes, but if I can see one of these guys, then I'll be able to drop an FFE on here. However, so, uh, he'll be moving in the German turn one. The French turn one is when he can bring in a spotting round. So maybe earliest would be the German turn two prep fire. I'll be able to drop a, a smoke barrage just in time to start moving. And then a subsequent one, I'm going to drop uh, somewhere else, uh, something like this maybe, or over here. Basically, depending on how his forces move around in the French turn one and two, uh, I'll be dropping more smoke around here. So I'll be able to obscure the mortar down here, and I'll be able to uh, cut off a lot of fire from uh, eradicating my troops. Also, I'm going to be... Uh, Deploying a lot of my squads uh, in the rally phase, uh, the rally phase of the German turn one. Um, whenever possible, I'll try and move half squads forward. I'm going to have to leave a couple squads full, but by and large, most of these I think I can get away with uh, deploying as half squads, which gives him lots of targets and uh, maybe have a chance of living. Now, the problem, of course, with this is that half squads are very fragile. Once they break you're probably not going to get it back in any kind of reasonable sense of order and I'll be losing a lot of effective firepower so uh, I'm not overly convinced that this is going to be the best way um, I may decide to change my mind tomorrow when we actually play this but uh, for right now I'm going to leave them deployed so um, based on what um, Caslow was commented on the last uh, video if you saw that he made up a good point and which I never considered is because it's 20 hexes long. If I do a assault move advance, assault move advance, that's 20 hexes. So uh, I can do most of my movement in nine and a half turns to uh, make my way across the board, only suffering a minus one for non um, moving in open, which obviously is a lot better than a minus two. So, uh, however, it takes a lot longer to get across, and you really don't have much flexibility. Now, for me, because my victory condition is three of the five buildings, the game length is nine turns. I have only got nine movement phases, not ten, to get across into this village here. So I'm going to have to pick up the pace, but I cannot unless I have something like smoke obscuring all this fire. If this stuff does not come down for whatever reason, this guy breaks his radio or I, I draw a red shit, delays the smoke, or even, you know, removes the battery then this is going to be a, another massacre as i try and make my way across it so we'll, we'll see how that goes if um so until i get smoke these guys are going to be assaulting slowly but surely moving the way across i may even uh, i've got to stay away from the woods just because i have a mortar here that can uh, uh really obliterate me when i'm in the woods i think this hex might be blocked Nope, you got full line of sight to that hex. So I'm definitely going to have to stay out of the woods whenever possible. So uh, yeah, they'll be moving half sta half squads at a time. Um, move up, move up, move up. I'll be laying his fire lanes and everything will be shot to shit. Uh, my rally points are going to have to be in N10 here in the woods and or L10 here in the woods. Hopefully I can make it into this building, but again, because he had this P9 hex poor sighted with his mortar... Um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to have to circumvent that somehow. One, two, three and a half. So this is where my squads can reach. Uh, I might send in the leader with the full squad. Uh, maybe even into here. But again, he's going to have a fire line cutting right across here, so I'm going to have to bear that in mind. Well, I mean, we're going to have to see, right? How that goes. These guys here are also going to have to make their way into here. Maybe I can force somebody into here. Best case. Uh, 
So uh, with any luck, I'll be in something like this kind of position by the end of turn one. What am I going to do with you guys? Bypass here. Something like this, maybe. These guys can advance into here. I'll throw a couple guys in the woods just in case. Maybe draw some fire. You never know. I doubt Dave's going to waste his time on that. There's going to be a lot of juicier targets. Now, these are guys are stacked, so this will be at the end of the uh, uh, end of the turn when they advance into these locations. So I, I'm not overly concerned. And I will probably lose c concealment when um, uh, because Dave's going to reveal his um, mortar crew right off the bat. So these guys will all be unconcealed. Only, my, only concealed unit is going to be my observer. Um, yeah, so this is what the uh, the end of turn one might look like. These guys might be able to advance a little further. Again, we'll see. Depends on how effective this fire lane is. Maybe he can cower, break his gun. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, again, his dice were really hot in the last two games uh, with the new nationality dice. He's rolling lots of rates of fire. A lot of low rolls with a neg one leader you're looking at uh you know minus three in open ground um yeah so again something that uh we misplayed the fire lane rules a little bit um so i might be able to get out a better result this time but again it's going to be it's going to be hit and miss how things pan out at any rate uh yeah turn one Something like this, maybe I'll be spread out a little bit more, not so condensed, give them less targets in one hex. But again, I got a lot of half squads that I have to uh, maneuver around. So, anyhow, uh, not babbling. So that's going to be my plan. We'll see how that goes. And so the next thing you're going to see is actual gameplay video. And uh, let's see how that pans out. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah, he's got no, no concealment. concealment. Yeah. <sighs> mm. Well. <clears throat> Let's go on. Uh, go ahead. Bypass two, three. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well. Sorry? You're good. <clears throat> Did you want to only go three? Yep. One. Good. Bypass two, mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. Four. Let's just keep together, why not? Let's go uh, assault move one. Okay. <clears throat> These guys are going to go two, four. Uh, two, four. These guys also move into the woods here. I assume you can see that guy too. Well, well it doesn't matter. I guess that guy would strip could see that. Um. <clears throat> Well, I, he's the one without the concealment, so he would see that hex. So yeah, no, yeah, no, I just need this one here. Uh, let's go one, two. Okay, hold there. Explosives there. Yeah, I'm going to uh, operate into a minefield. Okay. 
I'm just gonna try to drop a couple more. Drop around. Roger, roger. And uh see how we do. Seven. Start the pain. Sixteen. It'll be a seven. I think at eighteen it starts to go down, but no. No. Oh, uh You're bore right? I'm bore so it would be a nine I need, but I missed. Okay. So I miss and there's no residual. Mm. Alright. Uh two four. Okay. This guy's a travel in the group. Okay. Go one, two, four, five, six. These guys here are going to go um, one. Mm -hmm. Bypass the woods. Mm -hmm. Uh, three and a half. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These guys are going to go one, mm -hmm. two. Okay, I'll see about hitting them there. From here. Mm -hmm. So it'll be long range, so it'll be on the two table. Uh, minus two plus two, so two table, no modifier. Mm -hmm. Minus one for the leader, oh, minus so, one yeah. for your moving. Yep. Your uh, non assault moving. Yep. Okay. Uh, two table even. Somewhere. And I got a six. Six on the deuce. With a release a pinning. Pinning task check for every Good God. Oh. Oh. Uh ten two. No. And then I need a nine. Pretty Eight. Good. Barely. And I got rate, so I can take. I guess I can leave this off. Uh, one, two, into the house for four. Okay, that's good. Five, six. This guy here is gonna solve move into the house. Yeah. <laughs> An infantry gun right here. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Right here in the wheat field. Yeah. Well, I can't set up on board four. So. No. <laughs> uh, that's it for move. Defensive fire. Defensive fire. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll uh, fire four power onto that lead squad. Mm -hmm. No mod. No mod. Four no mod. Seven on the four table. Again, yes. Four, six, seven is groovy. Four. Um, machine gun will fire at. That's right down the hex point. Yeah, I'm going to fire at him. So uh, the squad will fire also. Mm -hmm. So it'll be on the six table. This one. Minus one. Ouch. Ah. Seven on the six is a NMC. <clears throat> um, seven or less. He's good. Groovy. Guess I should put this on.
And is it? Let's do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it'll be four, six, eight. Half would be on the four table. Four two plus one. Four plus one. And nine. Nine. And I'll try the shut as well. I think you can, I don't think I hit the woods from here. I can you thread that? I can thread it. I was looking at it myself. I was thinking I don't know if I can shoot you. It's good to know. Yeah, uh, maybe nope. not. No, nope. clips the woods. Damn. You could shoot it somewhere. Oh, you should, I guess you could clear it. Go long so. range. Yeah, that's right. So, let's see if I break my LMG. I do not. Get a sniper. Get a sniper. Um, that's going to be it for advancing fire phase. Uh, into the building with ye. Road. Um, sure. Can I see that hex at all? So I'm assessing. I don't think your mortar can see it, but that guy might be able to. I no, he wouldn't actually use the wall. Okay, so he's good then. Alrighty, we're on to the French turn one. Which fun so good? Is it? Is it really? It's bouncing. It's doing something. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh... Wind change. And, uh, <clears throat> nothing to uh, repair. So I prep fire. First thing I'm going to attempt is a uh, start a fire. Burn, baby, burn. That seems like a fun thing to do. So you need like a task check for the leader, right? Task check. And then a. So he's good. So now for the, the, the lighter up. Leave a six or less? Yes. Six or more? Six or more. So we get a flame. Creation right there. <clears throat> and they are prep fired. Yeah, I know. Flip it over. Okay. And okay, so I'll prep for this fella. Mm hmm Under that fella. Roger, Roger. Still in ten. <clears throat> yep. Ten. Six neg one. Six and egg one. Oh, God one, damn it, Dave. Two. Kill on the six. Gotta be a K. Two and a K. One K I A. God damn it. So roll for the machine gun with one die. Right? And it's still there. You rolled a three. Yeah. So it's a malfunction, though. Because you got a K slash. And I got rate. Let's see anyone else. Oh, I should have put concealment on these guys here. And on the guys behind it? No. No, they'd be uh, your mortar. It depends on if this tree covers it or not. Oh yeah, it'd be at least four blind hexes, right? One plus three. 
Could be two, at least three. So if this covers it, and then he would get it. No, that's fine. Sure. Yeah. Um. I guess I'll shoot here. Okay, stays there. He's gonna get wrecked, and but maybe he could wreck someone. So he'll try to shoot the six. So it's on the six table, no modifier. Six and mod. Six and mod. So six on the six one check. One check. Get a battle. Get a battle, and your sniper. Oh, damn it. Ooh, oh, he's a uh, lucky bastard. Hero created and battle hardened. Yeah. That'll work out. Can you re roll? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this arc would be better. You had a hero out. Maybe not. I don't know. You don't know. Let's see. All right. I'll uh, roll again on my LMG. LMG retained rate, so mm -hmm. two firepower, no more. Got rate again, seven on the two. Hot barrels, hot barrels. Roll one more time. Nothing. So he's fired. And so now it's. Time for fun with mortars. Since you didn't want to stay there, I'll uh, see if I can drop on this mm -hmm. officer in the open on a seven. No rate, no seven, no joy. The mortar is not hot today. <laughs> It's all burnt out. Get bored with all the hitting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Understandable. Let's get let's fight them in the trees. Let's get up close. Yep, that's it for uh, prop fire. Obamante. Go ahead. <laughs> These guys are going to go one. No, Jesus are coming. Two, mm -hmm. three, four. Yeah, that's good. It's good for movement. Um, yeah, we'll do uh, one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So these guys would be in normal range. That'll be eight. Plus, well, just these two guys here. You fire on the eight. That would be no mod because the hero, right? Nope. The hero's out of range. Oh, it's from a range. That's right. So it's uh, so eight. The way I understand it, if he gets that, if he runs over there and grabs that LMG <clears> and comes <throat> back and fixes it, I think I'm gonna then he's that. in normal range, right? Yep. All right. So it's on the eight plus one. Uh, it's a three. It's a sniper. Sniper. So four on the eight. Four Should on be a the eight. Two check. 
Are you guessing? Sorry, I forgot to do OPA first, but that's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll do my two check. Oh my gosh, I, uh... You're good. Pinned. I am pinned. You still have a target for the OBA. Let's have these here. Sorry. I guess I can get rid of the prep fire because he's pinned. Well, no, I guess for advancing fire purposes. Hmm. Need one more. So let's do the OBA. So first things first is radio contact, which I don't have. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, other, so he never fired. Uh, it'll be a plus two on the four. Not that lucky. Oh, my sniper, I guess I should roll that. Oh, yes, your sniper. Is that hot? No. Drop this right. That'll be it. Yeah, yes. Um, you're announcing fire. Which I don't have any. I should have said that. God damn fuck all over the place. Go ahead. Sorry about that. No worries. I would think you would just want to keep it disassembled so you can keep using it as you move. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Recording. No wind. No gusts. Or fire. All right. Radio contact. Yes. Finally. Let's drop a smoke right there. Or uh, around there, anyways. All right. Chip bag. Eight black, three red. <clears throat> There you go. And we got black. Sweet. So we have a, a battery contact. We have and we'll put a sporting round on there. Accuracy die roll, one or two. Nope. Mm. Black's direction. Four for six. Jeez. Son of a bitch. Duck boys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sploosh. What the fuck are you doing? Jack Garifier. Jack Garifier. Uh, I think that's going to go right to move. What is tempting? Let me fire this first. Three, four, five, so it'll be normal range, so it'll be on the eight table. Plus four minus two. That's wood, right? Not stone? Wood, yeah. So on the eight table plus two. Come on, wooden building. We got eight and no hit. So on the four table plus two. Great, no hit. And one more for good measure. Uh no rate and no hit. That's three eights I rolled. 
All right, let's go to uh, move. These guys will saw move into the Wolverine. Mm. Okay. Let's leave them there. These guys are going to bypass the building. Mm -hmm. uh, bypass this building. And then uh, come into the woods. Don't want to do that. Sure. Mm. That's fine. These guys are going to salt move up. I guess I'll. Uh... Hey, sorry, I was going to go into the green. <laughs> Good thing. So at least it's not going <laughs> open. Yeah, it's going to wipe them out. Um, that's fine. Yeah, never mind. Go ahead. <clears throat> Salt into the grain. Okay. Into the grain. Mm -hmm. And, uh, children of the grain. Pro rates will go there as well. <clears throat> These guys are going to salt move onto there. Okay. It's going to send salt into these trees. You guys have salt into those trees. You guys have salt into the grain. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that is it. Roger. Defensive fire. Defensive fire phase. Let's see if I have line of sight. I'm not sure. Oh my god. So we see each other. <clears throat> Brap. Six no mud. Yeah, six no mud. Let's do it. No. table or that would be on the six table I'll go on the six table plus one mm -hmm. <clears throat> there we go got a wrap five right. on the six should got be on check five on the six yeah. six or less broke Uh, don't do it anymore. I'm not gonna shoot him again. I know it's crazy. <laughs> uh, he might as well shoot this guy at plus one on the four table half for concealment. So two table plus one. Two plus one. Eight. Negatory. Uh, mm -hmm. I know you're all waiting for it, so we'll fire the mortar. Mm -hmm. Continue. Oh. I might as well fire on this fella here, since I already got a marker there. Mm -hmm. So just needing an eight. 
I got it. And I got rate. So on the four table. I got it. an eight on okay. the four table. So uh, fire again, needing a nine. Didn't get rate, got hit on the four table. Six. Cowers. <laughs> Be a NMC. NMC. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm a leader. Broken. Fuck him. And the uh, squad. It's good. Is uh, one MC? Yeah. No. Uh, was an NMC. So he's or no six on the four was an NMC. Yeah. So okay. He's so he's pinned. And then you just have to take a leader loss task check. Well, they don't have to now, right? They don't have to know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that was it for my rate. Mm -hmm. And no more shots. That's it for defensive fire. Sensitive film. Gosh. Pretty hard. Fencing fire phase. Um. So it would be five and a half. Half would be on the two table plus one. Are you going to add any of your other squads? Or? Oh. Uh, seven on the two is nothing. And then we'll go um, 12, 16, have would be eight. Plus uh, one, two, three. You can see how four, four plus two. Yeah. Uh, no. And that'll be it for that. This guy's going to rot into this building here. Okay. Oh, we should do this thing too. Oh, yes, we forgot to do that. Let's do that first. You have him too. Yep. That should be done in the advancing part, though. Let's yeah. do that first. It's, uh, six. Turns into a blaze. Laser Rooney. Right. Wow. This guy's here just going to uh, come back one hex. He should just go all the way, shouldn't he? Nope. <clears throat> I'll be going to him. What? 10 to 2? 10 to 2? Uh... Yeah, yeah. I'll be coming to him. Actually, no, you're right. No way I can uh, continue to fire in your turn. I was going to move up to him. Um, French turn to your rally, uh, wind change. Uh, wind change. Let's do this. And right, rally. I have a leader here, so I need a four. Nope. And then I got a 10 2 in a building, so this guy should be a. Six. Nine minus four should be uh, six. nine minus. Yes, six. Just missed it. Start. <laughs> Started that fire. Starting the fires. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> coming to grips with this. You gonna burn a building? Good. Try. <clears throat> 
Roger, roger. We checked that. I think it was a. I think wood buildings are eight, I think. Stone are nine. Wood buildings are eight. Yep. So that's my prep fire for that guy. Oh, I got it. No, he, uh, did a task check, right? Oh. Oh, yeah, so we failed it. He's only an eight. Okay. <clears throat> um, perfect fire is going to be. Okay, so my mortar is going to fire, and I will fire on. Hmm, any money more? Fire on the. Uh, <clears throat> not these guys. Target these woods. Roger, roger. Targeting these woods on a seven. And we got them. No rate. So it's on four one. table. So six on the four. Minus one, right? Minus one. Yeah. So oh, eight, seven. Seven. <laughs> penny? seven on the four is a pinning task check. So nine one and a four six seven. So the nine one. It's good. And the other dude is good. Let's go. Targets hit. So I have the same luck, uh, I will attempt to, uh, six plus one. Six plus one. Yeah, let's do it. Nope. All right. This guy's going to go two. Uh, yep. Three. Doing the flanking on the flanking. I'll stay there. I'm not gonna be able to get up there, so I'm gonna sell my back. Twink. Twink. Yeah, but now I don't have a target date. I know it's called skulking. <laughs> when you fucking line up a firing squad like you have, <laughs> maybe it's too much firepower to stay brave with. Um, and that is it. Right. Radio contact. Groovy. Groovy. That counts so for snipers. Just and convert. Sniper attack. Yeah. I will adjust and convert one, two, three, four, five, six. So target round. One or two? Yeah. Nope. Keep rolling sixes on mm -hmm. Uh so because I move six for every multiple of three it can be one off, so it could be a maximum of two. Roger, so I'm just gonna have the uh white die. White die. Two maximum two hexes. So yeah. So two God, X's. Six for two. It's in that woods. Alright, so 
One, two, boosh. Not ideal. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, not ideal. Um, so let's fire, uh, let's fire those guys into there. So again, it'll be on the, uh, eight table with a plus deuce. Nope, no rate. And then, uh, this guy here will fire six plus one. Six months. Six months. Six even. Even. Yeah, six even. Eight on the six. Might be a penning. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. All right. And then I'll fire five six. I'll fire on the six table plus one. Okay. Nope. Right. Fucking shit. And we'll be plus four, plus three with the hero. Although it touches the smoke, I would think. Yeah, it counts. This counts. For that one hex. So it's enough to do if I fired up here, so. Or if you fired just the three Eight. guys behind them. <clears throat> yeah, this guy would clip the hay. Would they clip? This guy here. Right along that line, he would be going through this hex. Well, it's better than using this guy and going through the small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would be halved. One, two, three. So you're good. So that would be 12, 14. So these guys could fire on the 12 plus 3, which is not great. Or it could fire on the 8. Plus uh, one. I'm thinking uh, 12 plus three versus a plus one. Yeah, I'll do the a plus one. Then I can fire the four plus two just in case, or three. So a plus one. Eight on the eight and MC. We are good. Sniper good. bait. God damn it. And then sing fire phase. Um, oh, uh, flame spread. All right. I'm going to start with the attached wheat field. She's good. She's lit. <clears throat> lit. Lit. Unfortunately, I have to check for this here, guys. So woods are seven, but it's detached. So it's minus. So, so it would be a, a, a minus two to the uh, the and die roll. That's right, nine or more. Right. Nope. Fucking sniper again. God damn it. And um, same with the one towards you or the hose. This wo this woods here. Same. No. Nope. Oh, close. And then the house would be. Would be an eight minus two, ten. so ten, ten or more. Oh, got it. That would do it. Burn the place down. So, advancing fire, I haven't any. Advancing. Uh, yep, 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 yep. This is a bad. Look <laughs> how he's been now. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I mean, you can always advance into the flame, but you could advance into flame, and then you have to get out on your next. Uh, I know, but there's a lot of firepower across from that. That's there. true. Advance into the open, or uh, stay. Well, hold your position, buddy. We will remember you. Oh. Come back. I wanted to go after your officer. <laughs> I was thinking. I, to see if I could get there. And uh, that's it for advance. 